Hello and welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to work on the visuals of our gallery. So we're going to create a background like this one. We're going to work on the labels and in the chart as well. Let's change the color and the size of the chart. And to begin with, I'd like to show you how to create this background, but not using a button object like we did in this case. In this case, we're going to use a HTML text object for creating this card. Okay. All right, so if you remember from the previous lessons, you can copy the code from this website right here. PowerMyApps.Vercel.com is my website. And you just copy the code, go back to PowerApps, insert a text, a HTML text, and paste the code inside of it. All right, and now we have a card in our gallery. And we need to make a few changes change in this card. So first thing, let's erase the shadow because we're not going to use any shadow in this case. So that line doesn't need to be here, box shadow. And let's set the margin as zero and the background color, we are going to use another color, not white. So if we check in our model, we'll have this color. Let's use this color. And we just need to copy the image with the snipping tool. And we can use the site image color picker to get the code of the, the color that we need. That is this one. So I'm going to copy the code here, go back to Power Apps and change here the background property for the color that we got from that website. All right, now let's reorder and send to the back. And one more thing that we need to do in order to get rid of this scroll bar, we are going to make the height of the gallery dynamic. So here in the height, let's change this value for uh, parent dot template height minus uh, six. Let's erase this value. All right. And in our model, we are using the template size as 80. So let's use the template size as 8 here as well. Uh, it's already 80. And to get rid of the scroll bar, you just need to change the height of the, the template size until it appears. All right. So this is what I just did right here. 